break, we're uh, sorry to have to report on another tragedy that's happened uh, all too often this year. Thursday night at Winchester Speedway, three-time USAC champion Robbie Stanley spun on lap number seven. He was hit several times and his car burst into flames. Stanley was fatally injured in the crash. The 26-year-old driver was trying to become the first sprint car driver in USAC history to win the championship four straight years. Our prayers are with his family and his friends. We'll be right back. Victory, and thankfully, it was a fairly safe event. Tragically, the same cannot be said for USAC Sprint Car Show that occurred last Thursday night in Winchester, Indiana. Robbie Stanley lost his life in a, an event. Tom DeWeese has the action from that race. Robbie Stanley got off to a bad start Thursday night when he cut a tire and crashed his car while qualifying. His team got him back on four wheels and Stanley went out and fought his way through the heat and made the feature lining up toward the back. When the green flag fell, it was Eric Gordon that jumped out to the early lead where he was safe for the first ten laps. But it was on lap seven that Robbie Stanley would sustain a fatal blow after his car had spun out. No one knew the terrible news that would follow, so after the debris was cleaned up, it was back to green flag racing. Gordon was still out front, but Doug Clinton was much reporting for race day. Stanley was uh, going after his fourth straight uh, national sprint car title at the time of his death, and he had returned to the sprints after he couldn't find sponsorship for his Bush Grand National car. Our sympathies go out to Robbie's family and his many friends.